Hey friends, Sarah Baldwin here with a new special Sunday with Sarah for you. I am so pleased and excited to announce that this month marks the 20th birthday of Bella Luna Toys. The company is now 20 years old. So I thought today that it would be fun to share with you a history of the company and learn a bit, a little bit more about the company's founding um, and the changes that have happened along the way. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sarah Baldwin. I'm a former Waldorf teacher, author, I'm the mother of two grown Waldorf graduates, and the president of Bella Luna Toys. Now many people have assumed that I am the founder of Bella Luna Toys, but that is not true. Um, Bella Luna Toys was founded in 2002 in Petaluma, California by a lovely young woman named Maya Racciola. And Bella Luna Toys was one of the very first websites to offer toys and art supplies inspired by Waldorf education online. In 2002, Maya was a young mother whose oldest daughter was born with medical challenges. So Maya knew right away she was going to need to stay home with her daughter, but needed to find a way to make an income working from home. Um, at that time, in the early 2000s, there were a lot of, of mothers um, starting online businesses, selling crafts and various things. Uh, and also Maya's mother had been an entrepreneur and had her own home-based business, which inspired Maya to start thinking about uh, what kind of business she could start from home. As she thought about it, she at the time she was bringing her daughter to a parent toddler class at the local Waldorf school and she had become inspired by the toys she discovered their beautiful handmade wooden toys um, she was struck by the color the beauty of them the sensory experience which were uh, especially helpful to her daughter with special needs she had also seen a print catalog selling these kinds of toys uh, through mail order and then it occurred to her it was an aha moment where she thought oh i could maybe try selling these toys online and uh, and then bring these beautiful toys into my home so keep in mind this was in 2002 this amazon was still in its infancy i think then they may have still only been selling books and um, online shopping was a very new thing and maya told me i talked to her recently and asking her about the early days of the company. She told me she started the business with only $300. And she told me a cute story that her husband had given her three $100 bills uh, as a gift to, to start a company. And she said she kept the bills in her nightstand drawer. And uh, sometimes she would take it out and look at the bills and think about imagine this business she was going to start and then one day she opened the drawer and the money was gone and so she asked her family is anyone seeing the money that was in in uh, in my drawer and uh, everyone said no her two daughters by this time and her husband and uh, and then one of her daughters came forward and confessed and she said mom all right you can have your three dollars back <laughs> so her daughter thought they were three $1 bills. But anyway, Maya got her cash back. And the first thing she spent money on was to a graphic designer to design a logo, launch the website. And that was the infancy of Bella Luna Toys. So when the website was launched, uh, Maya started with a very small collection of toys. Um, but she was carrying um, some of the brands that we are still carrying today, 20 years later, including Haba Toys, Sarah Silks, Grimm's Toys, and Stockmar Art Supplies, um, and also the, the main made wooden vehicles, cars and trucks we carry, have all been uh, carried for the last 20 years. So Maya ran the business for seven years and it kept running it and growing. Um, but it got to the point where she realized she didn't really have the know-how 
uh, and resources to kind of take it to the next step. And at the same time, she was thinking about going back to school and uh, was really interested in becoming an ultrasound technician because her daughter had had to go through a lot of ultrasounds and imaging uh, in her infancy. It was something that had really called to Maya. And about this same time, I was teaching in Waldorf School and I was feeling a little restless. I was feeling ready to try something new, uh, but I didn't, I didn't know what. And uh, I, I was living in rural Maine where there aren't a lot of jobs or job opportunities, career opportunities. So I, you know, I really didn't know what I would do next. Um, and about the same time, the school uh, where I was teaching, our enrollment unfortunately had dropped that year to the point where they were going to have to eliminate one of the early childhood classes. And it was assumed I would stay on. Um, but I saw this as an opportunity to graciously step back so one of my colleagues could uh, keep their jobs. And um, so it was a big leap of faith. I, I tendered my resignation at the end of the 2009 teaching year, not at all certain what I would do next. But do you know the expression they say, uh, I think we've all heard it in The Sound of Music, when God closes a, a door, he opens a window. I always think of that when I think of what happened next, because I, I finally made that decision to step back from teaching, and it seemed like almost as soon as I made that decision, I got a, an email newsletter landed in my inbox uh, it was a Waldorf homeschooling newsletter with an announcement that this little website, Bella Luna Toys, was for sale. And I was intrigued. I thought, huh. I had no desire to ever own a business, ever. I had no background in business, in retail, or e-commerce. But I knew these toys because I had used them in my own classroom and and at home with my own two children for 20 years and I loved these toys. I was passionate about them and I had seen firsthand their benefits for children and I knew I knew parents. I'd been working with parents of, of babies and young children for so many years and I loved educating parents so I started thinking well maybe this is something I could do from home to replace my income until I figure out what to do next. So I, I had many conversations with Maya. I asked her lots of questions uh, about how she ran the business, how I would do it. She was very gracious, but this nagging voice in the back of my head kept telling me, you don't, it's just a lot of self-doubt. You don't know what you're doing. You have no business running a business. Uh, you're, it, you know, it will fail. It's too risky. Um, and, you know, unfortunately those, those, voices were getting the better of me and um, kind of based out of fear I I called Maya one day I said thank you so much for your time um, but I don't think it's the right thing for me at this time and good luck to you I hope you find the right buyer so a couple months went by and I found I just I couldn't let go of this vision I had for the website I just imagined how I would redesign it. I thought of all the toys that I would love to introduce families to, uh, toys that I, as I said, that I, I used in my classroom. And and um, and I knew I didn't just want a website to sell stuff. I wanted to use it to promote my love of Waldorf education and, and to support families with babies and young children. So one day, uh, Around that time, I was walking with my now ex-husband uh, on on the beach in Maine, and telling him how I just I couldn't let go of of this vision. And we stopped. He put his hands on my shoulder. He said, "Look, you'll never know unless you try." And I knew he was right. And I knew I had to take another leap of faith. So the next day, I picked up the phone. I called Maya. I told her that I had changed my mind and that I wanted to buy the website, which fortunately hadn't been sold in the meantime. So soon after she shipped all of her remaining inventory from California to Maine, and I set up shop in my little garage at home. 
I always imagined it would just remain a small home-based family business. Um, but at that time, my kids were finally in high school. I had time to devote to it. And um, I found myself working really hard at it full time. Uh, I had the website redesigned and brought in a lot of new toys. I, uh, most importantly, I started a blog called Moonchild on which I started writing about topics such as Waldorf education, uh, parenting topics, and the importance of play. So during that first year, working out of my garage, I did absolutely everything by myself. I ordered the inventory, I answered the phones, I packed the orders, I brought them to the post office every day, I did the bookkeeping. Um, and uh, after a year or so, I had to hire my first employee. And soon after that, we moved to a small warehouse nearby in Maine. And I continued to work hard and we continued to grow year over year and you know really exceeding all my expectations and um, hired more staff as time went on and as we grew i was very lucky that in the building we were in there was always vacant space available when we needed more space we were able to take down walls and and move and it really accommodated the growth of our business so we continued to grow year over year our sales grew our staff grew then fast forward to 2020 and as i i explained in my last video the covid pandemic hit and our sales increased dramatically when suddenly schools were closed everyone was now a homeschooler and we are selling educational toys art supplies games crafts online and then it was during this time that uh, I realized that Bella Luna toys had become so big uh, bigger that than than I or my team could really handle we were all stretched pretty thin and um, I knew that for the company to succeed at the next level we were going to need more resources than we currently had so also in my last video um, I shared how in 2021 Bella Luna Toys became part of the Haba family group, which couldn't have come at a better time and is really helping to launch Bella Luna Toys into its adulthood, I would say. I, uh, I think Maya parented the company through its early childhood. I parented it through its teenage years and with the help of the Haba family group, they are helping guide Bella Luna Toys into its adulthood, and I couldn't be more excited. So uh, if you missed that video, I will link to it below. But to celebrate our 20th birthday for the rest of this year, we have lots of fun plans and promotions uh, coming up to thank all of our customers for all of your support over the years, for having you know, for trusting us and for bringing Bella Luna toys into your homes, hearts, and hands. So to learn more about what we have planned, if you're not already subscribed to our newsletter, be sure to go to our website at www.bellalunatoys.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We'll make announcements there. And if you're not already subscribed to the Sunday with Sarah YouTube channel, be sure to uh, subscribe below. Click the little notification bell so that you're notified every time we post a new video. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, um, from me and from all of the Bella Luna Toys team. Because of you, we get to do work that we really love. So be well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.